Welcome back. I'm Pratap here. Today is the 6th of November 2023. Before generating daily demand zones and supply zones, let us evaluate the performance of the high liquidity zones generated in our previous report. Even before that, we all should understand Nifty and Bank Nifty are entered into the weekly supply zones and those supply zones are high liquidity zones probably you might get good trading opportunities there. Okay, now let me look into the first stock, HDFC AMC, which has given a good short trade, even though our yesterday's report shown near to the demand zone, but we got supply zone. We all know HDFC AMC is moving between high liquidity demand zone and supply zone. Let me go to the 75 minutes zone. Here we found a fresh 75 minutes. Even before that, there is a 75 minutes high liquidity zone tested several times so far. This is the first test, second I went a little higher than the previous, the third one even more and the last fourth one. This is the one where we have taken the trade. And now today it is broken. And how it is broken, institutions created a high liquidity 75 minutes demand zone. And this demand consumed the entire supply and broken this 75 minutes high liquidity supply zone. So let me delete this. So it has given a good number of tests. And this is a fresh 75 minutes zone where we are looking for the trade. And today price just went into this and then came down and finally reached 75 minutes high liquidity demand zone. But see the range between these two. It's not great. Okay, intraday point of view, it is good. The range is enough, more than enough for the intraday point of view. Let me show you, let me tell you how much return it has given from this fresh 75 minutes supply zone. Inside 75 minutes, I have fine tuned to 15 minutes supply zone. The dark color is a 15 minute supply zone. This is just to reduce the risk. And finally, reached the 15 minutes demand zone inside the 75 minutes demand zone. And the profit is a 12,900 rupees, which is equivalent to 7.85% return on the investment. 7.85% return on the investment. So it is better than for beyond our average return on the investment during the intraday. That is 6.1% is our average return on the investment. So it, this one has given 7.85%. So it's a good percentage. But... Definitely, I don't take this trade. The reason is a risk reward. I am not comfortable with this risk reward. The 15 minutes demand zone, even though I fine tuned 75 minutes to 15 minutes, still the risk is high. The RR is only 1 is to 2. That means uh, the profit is okay. We know high liquidity zones, they work, it worked. So, in case, due to any reason, if it failed, maybe I, I should have got 6,300 rupees risk I have to bear. Generally, a maximum up to 3,000 or 3,200 or 3,300 3, 3, risk we can bear, at least from my point of how I plan my trades is based on that. But 6,300 is a big risk. Of course, the risk did not occur and we have a guarantee because it is a fresh zone, first time prices entered into this. So, obviously, it pushed the price down. But that is not sufficient for us in case, if any reason, if market failed, we got a big loss. Double, double the amount than what we are supposed to bear the risk, we would be losing that. So that is the reason why risk point of view, this is not a comfortable trade to me. 
but those who accept one is to two risk definitely it has, it would have given 12675 but why i am talking about this trade because every time we are checking the performance of our high liquidity zones how they are working because all these days we been trying to find when a li high liquidity zone will fail for the last one and a half month we haven't seen any failures you may see today this high liquidity 75 minute zone is failed that is already expected because it is already given more than four test it went deep inside the reason why i didn't delete is i want to show you that today it is broken that we expected in our last trade itself in this candle we expected probably next time it will be broken that is what i told in my previous discussion and during this discussion in this candle i told definitely next time it will work that is what we got the trade it reached till that blue color line and then it gave a very good return for us during that intraday trade so at that time because it is already went more deep inside so we are not in a position to accept this trade so that is what happened it might have by the time it is already consumed so slowly it is consuming the supply in this uh, supply zone see here this red color uh, candle high now look into the, this candle high this is higher than the previous high and the, our last trade look into this candles high this is higher than the previous candles high that means slowly it is consuming all the orders so that's why today it is failed but we already drawn this during our last session itself we have drawn the supply and we were waiting for prices to enter into this so that is what entered here today and it gave the return but the risk is high i don't want to maybe probably i can accept something like this to minimize the risk so prices didn't reach maybe next time it may reach and come down or we don't know because it is already tested 75 minutes we don't know the supply in this particular zone how strong it is we, we don't have any idea again with a strong demand if the prices go it might be broken easily once it is tested we don't take the trade unless the zone is a high liquidity zone the one we deleted why we have taken multiple trades why we accepted because it is a high liquidity supply zone in a high liquidity supply zone maximum two or three trades we will accept but if it is a normal supply zone of course all these are all inside high liquidity daily high liquidity zones but i am talking about 75 minutes this uh, 75 minutes is a normal supply zone we will take we will accept only one test so second time maybe we can accept but it is quite risky when we are having other stocks available in our list why should we take the risk that is what i always say because our scanner is generating the reports every day, every day it is showing some high liquidity zones in our reports and i am publishing them every day end of the day for the last two months every day i am i been mean, continuously publish, publishing all the zones to support the retail traders like you or like me so when we are having the list the list is having multiple options so why should we look for already a tested zone which is not a high liquidity zone that is only my argument but otherwise we can take a risk next time when again when entered into this but i don't want to take that risk when i have the other options and when you are having other options why you want to take the risk that is my question okay but otherwise we got a good trade today and good profit but it is not an acceptable trade for the risk point of you then what is acceptable trade the next one is an excellent trade for the risk point of you and even the profit point of you so that is i o c it is a good trade first let me go to the daily time frame i o c is already a tested zone the daily the, i mean the daily high liquidity zone is a tested one because this is a high liquidity always we look for 
a fresh 75 minute zones inside that. But the point you have to understand about the IOC, this is the zone created in the year 2017. And it is already tested. See the blue color line I have drawn? So that means this is already consumed orders until this blue color line area. And within this blue color area, institutions did not create any fresh 75 minute zones. Let me go to the 75 minutes time frame. So there are no fresh 75 minute zones. After it is tested inside, they didn't create. When the institution when institutions does not create a fresh 75 minutes, what we have to do? We have to take a deep entry. Go something beyond this blue color, the above this blue color area, find another 75 minute zone. Because inside the daily zone, definitely we will find two to three 75 minute zones. So for that, I have to travel up to this. 2000 for the year 2017. So here we have this zone. Let me expand. Let me zoom in. Okay. Here we have a beautiful rally base and drop at the 75 minutes level. So I can draw something like this. But the risk is high for me. So what I did? I went to the proximal. That is a type 2 proximal entry. But still I am feeling this risk is high. So what I, we have to do? The another option is go inside this, find a 15 minute zone or 5 minute zone. That is what we have to do. But unfortunately, Trading view is not providing the data, 15 minutes data or 5 minutes data from the year 2017. It is not providing because trading view provides only last 20,000 candles. For the people who subscribed the, the, what is it, professional, the last, the highest one is professional, right? Yeah, for those subscribers, they provide 20,000 candles. So I'm already in that highest package. So the 20,000 candles are, uh, I think, uh, they are uh, from, from the year 2018 onwards. But we are at in, in the year 2017. So 25 minutes, data, uh, sorry, 15 minutes data is not available and 5 minutes data is also not available. So I wanted to look for 25 minutes time frame. That is also they are providing from, uh, from the year 2018, 2018. That data is also not available. So what to do? I have two options, leave this trade, but I don't want to leave because this is a high liquidity zone. Risk point of view, what I want to do is I have, to take, I have taken a decision. What is the decision? In case if prices go up to this, I want to go for type 3 proximal. Type 3 proximal. If prices get into this type 3 proximal zone area, I want to take an entry. There is a reason behind this. I have seen these wicks. Have you looked into these wicks? Look into the second candle. It got a rejection from here. From So probably above this, there could be some institutional orders. I just applied a simple logic. That's it. Nothing more than that. And there is enough depth is also available. Even though we have taken the type 3 proximal within this zone, there is a sufficient depth is available within this zone. And the, and the risk is 30 paisa. 30 paisa is the risk because the price is around uh, 100 rupees. The cost of this stock is around nine, between 99 and 100 rupees. So 30 paisa is a reasonable risk. And the cost of this uh, 30 paisa for one future slot is... Uh, uh, for 35 sa, the risk value is uh, 2,925 rupees, close to 3,000 rupees. Okay, up to 3,000 or 3,500 maximum, I want to bear that risk. So for that, I decided to accept this risk. 
but there are lesser chances of uh, hitting this type 3 entry generally what are most of the times what happens prices reach type 2 entry and again again it come go back that is possible and one more thing this zone is there from the year 2017 maybe it, there are higher chances that uh, institutions might push deep into this zone that is also possible so by considering all these factors i decided i want to take a chance in case if prices comes okay i will take maximum risk is only 30 paisa for one future lot my loss is going to be only 2925 rupees which is close to 3000 rupees so i am okay with that risk and luckily what happened the price just entered into this fine tuned area So I got a beautiful entry here today. This is my entry. I went a little deep and then again see the rejection. How institutional pending orders pushed the price down. Okay, now where to exit? What is the target? Because the, the data is not available to identify the target between uh, I mean, uh, from 2017 till 2020, the data is not available at 5 minutes or 15 minutes level in trading view. So, for that, I have to depend on the latest uh, data. So, I went to 15 minutes and 5 minutes just before reaching into this, whatever the price action is there, and today. Today it created a 15 minutes demand zone. This is a 15 minutes demand zone. Generally what happens, after, um, due, most of our high liquidity zones, after hitting this supply zone, again at least up to 15 minutes demand zone, prices will come. That is one thing. But what happened here, the 5 minutes demand zone is also created. And this 5 minutes demand zone, is holding the prices. See here, it is the it is holding the first candle, second candle, third candle, fourth candle. It is not letting the prices go below this. Not letting the prices entering into this inside this demand zone. So I thought maybe some demand is more demand is created inside this. So I thought maybe this is the area I have to fix my target. And another reason is also, I don't want to take the risk. The reason is the gap between this 5 minutes demand zone and the 15 minutes demand zone is very less. Just for this little small area, that means this small profit, I don't want to take a risk because this demand zone is looking very strong. So that's why this is an exit point. At what time we got the entry? 11.20 candle 5 minutes candle got the entry and 11 45 minutes 11 11 45 5 minutes candle got the exit within 25 minutes the trade is completed do you know how much profit it has given it has given 12,675 rupees profit which is 7.37 percent return on the investment it is excellent just in 25 minutes time period or maximum say 30 minutes time period, the, our trade is completed. But those who are waiting for uh, prices to reach this, 70, uh, this 15 minute zone, that means those who have not observed these rejections from this demand zone, probably might be thinking easily the prices will come to this 15 minutes area. So probably you might have suffered because you might have holded the prices for a long period, maybe somewhere here because your time is intraday time is uh, getting uh, over so you might have exited somewhere here because i observed these rejections i took a quick decision i thought the demand is strong because institutions keep on creating 15 minutes zone next five minutes zone when they are creating multiple demands definitely the prices should 
wait for more time to break this of course this zone is broken but still it couldn't reach this maybe there could be some more pending orders before this again which pushed the price up sometimes you need to observe and another reason why i took this decision apart from this i al i also calculated till this particular demand zone what is the roi at least minimum 6.1% is there or not i calculated because our average intraday return see the advantage of observing our average return on the investment for high liquidity zones it helped today so i verified whether it is minimum 6.1% is there or not so when i calculated it has shown that it has shown 7.37% so excellent that is another reason for my decision to exit at this point of time maybe prices went up to this probably it might have given up to 9% uh, return on the investment would have got maybe another 2% extra but there are strong reasons why we have to exit at this 5 minutes zone already we have enough roi is there from the supply to this demand that is one point second point this demand is holding the prices look into this price action it is holding the prices not letting the prices go inside and third we don't know how strong the supply is going to be because the risk is very less this is a very old zone 2017 zone this one this supply zone we don't know how strong how strong it is going to push down that that is the third reason by considering all these points why i am telling you all these points it is going to be a learning for you in future you may find such kind of stocks your decision making will be easier at that time see just if you see the demand zone if you see the supply zone and if you fix those points in your mind and if you are looking for the trades definitely you won't get success you are a price action trader being a price action trader you have to observe the price action carefully apart from your entry and target and stop loss because most of the beginners are most of the traders having less experience like 5 years or 6 years or 7 years most of these traders what we do our concentration is on entry stop loss and target that's it but that is not enough you should between between your entry and the target you have to observe the price action when anything if the price action is against your expectations you have to take a quick decision and you have to exit whatever the profit you get you have to compromise with that sometimes it it will happen i will show you in the next slide in the next uh, stock that is what happened so the next stock is uh, indigo actually indigo is not from our yesterday's list but this is from our day before i mean uh, in our uh, friday's list friday we did not get the trade but today we got this trade first let me go to the daily time frame here we have a fresh 75 minute zone it is already tested this is the first time and somewhere close to this zone this is second third because we have entry buffers here based on that we have to consider this is the first test second test third test and again this is the fourth test again came down and this is the fifth test and today it is the sixth test so i found a fresh 75 when we, when we are having multiple tests always we have to look for a fresh 75 minute zone so that is what i did i went inside already this is the one we drawn in in our uh, previous session itself on friday itself i shown you this chart so this is the fresh 75 minute zone and fine tune to 5 minutes level in the 5 minutes we found an excellent uh, sub, uh, the real supply the origin we found here this is the place we found the origin because this is the origin today you know what what it did the moment it went it pushed the price down how much it came down see the next candle you will understand what is our target the next available zone this is 15 minutes zone so first let me go to the 15 minutes time frame 
so here we have because we have a confidence that our high liquidity zones mostly it will push up to the 15 minute zones at some point of time that is by 10:45 we got this trade at 9:45 if you miss 9:45 again at 10 o'clock also again another trade it has given but 10:45 within 45 minutes it looks like it is reaching our target 15 minutes target but unfortunately just before just 9 rupees before the price has turned up but what we expect it will turn again it will come back that is what happens most of the times but today that doesn't happen today price went 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 so if you look into the 5 minutes you will get better clarity about this price action so what happened we have a rally candle we have a rally candle we have base candles we have a rally a new demand is created at 5 minutes generally it happens 5 minutes it creates a demand zone and again after some time that will be broken that is acceptable but what happened immediately one more demand is created and this is an alert for us when it happens multiple demand zones if it is keep on growing that means it is indicating the demand is very strong already the prices went down and again it is moving up while, how, while moving the demand that means it is eating our profits how much profit we would have got so maybe from this entire profit from the supply zone to, till whatever the profit is supposed to be in that by the time prices reaches here we might have lost 50 percent of the profit now you have to take a decision you got an opportunity first time prices entered into this demand zone there are chances that because the demand is strong there are chances that prices will further go up so the decision you have to take exit this is an opportunity to exit whatever the profit you got you have to book with this profit forget about how much profit you might have missed that means how much already the expected profit is eaten here, right? So you might have missed this profit. Forget about that. But whatever the profit you have to, you already got, you have to satisfy with that. So this is the exit point, the moment. You should not wait for this demand zone. The one that is available immediately, that is an opportunity for you to exit. So this is the place. This is how you have to take a dynamic decisions based on the price action. Okay, if it is not an intraday, if you are taking for uh, short term trades, that is a different strategy. You won't, you won't bother about what's the price action during this intraday. But as an intraday, if you want to take an intraday trade, this is the point you have to exit. But still, you know how much profit it has given? Indigo. 9,900 rupees profit, which is 6.791%. Even after some of our profit is consumed or eaten by this uh, supply, but still we got 6.79%, which is above our average intraday profit 6.1%. So this, this is the way you need to take your decisions during uh, the intraday when the price action is changing and the next one is uh, our fridays uh, this is about friday's trade bank of baroda so let me go to the 75 minutes time frame friday we calculated uh, Bank of Baroda intraday, tra intraday trade, which has given uh, around 3.3%, uh, 3 I guess, uh, sorry, 3.9%. Friday it has given 39 very less percentage profit it has given. But those who have taken short term trade on Friday, those who are holding this trade, 
and today it reached the target generally when we hold when we are taking a entry at 70 75 minutes time frame and target is 75 minutes demand zone i mean entry is 75 minutes supply zone target is 75 minutes demand zone generally we hold it this is a wit trade weekly income trade in a weekly income trade mostly we re, uh, prices reach the target within a week sometimes uh, maybe uh, two weeks or three weeks also it is possible sometimes but minimum one week you need to hold for wit trades but our high liquidity zones most of the times most of the times at least i can say 90% of the times it give a return within 2 to 3 days wit trades it gives the returns only high liquidity zones so second day it has given do you know how much profit it has given wit trade 22522 rupees profit which is 17.99% return on the investment 22522 which is 17.9% return on the investment those who took intraday is only 3.9% but short term uh, trade it has given excellent percentage so that's why you high liquidity zones you should not stick only for the intraday you should also look for short term trades if the intraday returns are not satisfactory yesterday 3.9% intraday intraday return is a not a very good profit compared to 6.1% average because it is not sufficient if anybody would have holded this you would have got 22522 rupees during first hour itself we got the profit during 915 minutes candle itself if anybody missed probably again after uh, 9550 candle if even if you missed probably at 10 o'clock 10 minutes you would have exited after that most of the time the price is within this demand zone only so this is about uh, bank of baroda and remaining are not uh, uh, triggered uh, reached that our uh, entry levels but icici icici zi let me show you at 5 minutes we have a 5 minutes high liquidity zone is there and this is the one holding the prices for a long time this is the first entry this is the second entry and today is the third entry but it happened only in last 5 minutes last 5 minutes let me show you in 1 minute candle you get clarity at 1526 candle it reached this supply zone this is at 1384 just there is only 10 minutes oh, sorry only 10 paisa between this uh, zone entry and the high high the high of this candle just generally we we take some 15 minutes sorry 15 paisa 20 paisa 50 paisa below this zone you will keep your entries if anybody would have kept your order might have triggered but within next how it pushed the price that means why i am showing you this probably here a strong institutional supply is available here pending orders in this area that is the reason why every time when prices are entering into this 5 minutes zone they are it is pushing back here again pushed back here again it pushed back i just calculated it is not a trade strictly speaking we don't dare to take this trade during the intraday during the last 5 minutes but i just calculated how much return it has given it has given 5.5% return on the investment 5.5% In just five minutes, just before closing the trading day.
just i'm telling you how the high liquidity zones are working it need not be daily even it it is a 75 minute zone it is giving us at least 3 to 4 trades even if it is a 5 minutes high liquidity zone that is also giving us at least 3 to 4 trades see here this is the first trade this is the second trade this is the third trade and today this is the fourth trade such a powerful these high liquidity zones you have to properly understand this concept have you seen any failure so far for the last one and a half month in high liquidity trades no we haven't seen failures will be there when failures will be there after a third test or fourth test when you don't find a fresh zone when you don't find a fresh zone but mostly we take trades in the fresh zones only but you may ask a question then what about this 5 minute zones 5 minute zones at least the minimum 2 to 3 trades it will work maybe first time or second time third time if the risk is very minimal maybe you can take if the loss for example if the risk is maybe around some 1500 rupees or less than 2000 rupees so at the at the time you can take the trade there is nothing wrong if the risk is occurred probably you may lose 2000 rupees but if it is not probably you may get maybe some 8000 rupees or 9000 rupees at least 1 is to 4 or 1 is to 5 return you will be getting so that way you have to take a decision if it is not a fresh zone but it is a 5 minutes high liquidity zone or 15 minutes high liquidity zone or 75 minutes high liquidity zone at least 2 to 2 to 3 trades mostly they, they will give good return so this is about uh, uh, the trades from our previous uh, reports now let us generate demand and supply zones for daily time frame entry time frame is daily let us find the stocks which are near to the daily demand zone so this is the list so are there any high liquidity zones in abc capital we have a high liquidity demand zone which is already tested three times it is low on the curve daily trend is sideways but weekly and monthly are uptrend and risk is also here we have 3.64 point reward is a 5.48 percent reward is there that means if you fine tune if you are able to find a fresh zone and if you are able to fine tune your zone probably you may get a good return from the stock maybe during intraday or even in short term any other high liquidity demand zones there is one more again hdfc amc it's keep on keep on keep on keep on coming every day oh three times already it is tested and hindustan unilever it is already pierced seven times pierced and seven times it is staying within this zone only that means below this high liquidity zone you may find an institutional bull trap that is what we have to understand by looking into these uh, pierced zones if a pierced zones are keep on keep on their uh, testing and prices are not closing below this uh, zone but pierced count is keep on increasing the indication is uh, there is a bear trap if you are able to find that bear trap sorry this is a demand zone it is a bull trap if you are able to find that bull trap probably you will be able to 
سوری 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 وی آر بلس وی آر ایگزٹنگ آور ٹریڈ دا مومنٹ وی ایگزٹیڈ آور ٹریڈ وی بیکم بیرس سو اٹ از اے بیئر ٹریپ سو یو ہیو ٹو فائنڈ اے بیئر ٹریپ بلو دس ڈیمانڈ زون nothing else this is a so that means we have only hdfc amc and abc capital we found in the demand zone stocks near the the high liquidity zones we have these two high liquidity zones near the demand zones so let's go back entry time frame is daily let us find the stocks which are near to the daily supply zone nifty 50 is near remember nifty 50 is inside high liquidity weekly zone nifty mid cap select we have abb a fresh zone high liquidity zone it's not having even rejections also which is at equilibrium and daily trend is down that is good for fine tuning at 75 minutes level and risk is 2 uh, and reward is 3% uh, so when you find you definitely you get a very good uh, target the next high liquidity zone is uh, for mandal it is a counter trend uh, counter trend trade setup zone this is also at equilibrium when this zone is created 23 10 20 23 but now the trend is changed to uptrend daily trend also and next one is icici prudential already tested three times so look into this stock you have to take a deep entry inside if you don't find a fresh zone next one is uh, manapuram but it is pierced so we we'll let us don't look into this and last one is tata communications this is a counter trend zone and good thing is daily trend is sideways and weekly trend is also sideways four percent risk so you need to find tune properly in the 75 minutes or 15 minutes inside the 75 minutes so this is about uh, high liquidity zones from these uh, two reports stocks near demand zone and uh, stocks near supply zone so let's go back for entry time frame daily let us find the stocks which are near to the sorry which are closed inside the daily demand zone only five stocks so let's go back for entry time frame daily let us find the stocks which are closed inside the supply zone mm, we have a big list and moreover nifty nifty bank all are inside the weekly demand zones and nifty is about to reach daily demand zone inside weekly and bank nifty already reached daily demand zone which is inside the weekly demand zone that means there is a zone confluence between daily time frame and weekly time frame 
Now, if all these stocks go down, what will happen to Nifty? Obviously, Nifty will also go down. What are the other ind uh, indices? Nifty Financial Service is inside the supply zone. Nifty Healthcare inside the supply zone. Nifty IT inside the supply zone. Nifty Metal inside the supply zone. Nifty Oil and Gas inside the supply zone. And the stocks having higher weightages, if they are inside the supply zone, and if the su supply pushes the price down, then the Nifty 50 definitely will go down. So you need to observe the stocks and their weightages in case if you are a Nifty index trader or even bank Nifty trader, look for bank stocks which are there inside the supply zone. You have seen today Bank of Baroda. Nifty Bank is moving up, but Bank of Baroda is pushed down. That's why you got 22,000 rupees uh, profit for that particular stock, uh, for a short term profit. And if any of these stocks are at high liquidity zone, then there are higher chances of pushing down. So keep an eye on this list. I'm scrolling down. So you can pause and you can study the parameters. Maybe I'm giving some two to three seconds when I'm scrolling this list down. Even Reliance also inside the supply zone. TCS is there inside the supply zone. All uh, higher weight, uh, weighted stocks are there inside the supply zones. So total 66 stocks are there inside the supply zone. Tata Steel is there. I think majority of the Nifty 50 stocks are there in this list. ONGC is there. Okay, this is about stocks which are closed inside daily supply zone. Let's find the tested zones. Entry time frame is daily. Let us find the daily tested demand zones. Only Havels and UBL, they are tested. Both are high liquidity zones. Havels is moving between two high liquidity zones. The price is moving between two high liquidity zones. Okay, let's go back. For entry time frame daily, let us find the tested daily supply zones. Nifty Bank tested today. Nifty Financial Services, Nifty Healthcare, Nifty Media, Nifty Oil and Gas, Nifty Private Bank. All these are all tested. Some of them closed inside the supply zone. And some of them changed the direction. Now they are moving towards the demand zone, Nifty Media. Nifty Private Bank, it is also moving towards the demand zone. Now it is near the demand zone. Maybe the risk reward is less. That could be the reason. Okay. Even another heavyweight stock, Infi. Infi tested the zone or again changed the direction now moving towards the high liquidity demand zone.
to reach this high liquidity demand zone nifty at least it should go down by 11% the stock is fell down by 11% okay from supply zone it is 10% then it is able to reach the demand zone if 10% if nifty is down see its weight is on the nifty 50 so that's why we should be very careful now i already told you both nifty and bank nifty are there inside high liquidity weekly zones weekly supply zones you should not forget those weekly supply zones are high liquidity zones and moreover they are fresh zones now only prices entered into that so your trade plan should be planned in a careful way your trade should be planned in a careful way so this is about the tested zones now let us find the newly created zones entry time frame daily let us find a newly created demand zones nifty 50 created a demand zone create a demand zone inside the supply zone if this demand zone is broken again trend will be changed already trend is down we'll further continue but we'll see tomorrow and day after tomorrow probably this week is going to be interesting week total 30 stocks are having newly created demand zones now let's go back entry time frame daily let us find the stocks having newly created supply zones so only two stocks are having newly created supply zones so this is about the filter list now let me generate the complete list for our reference purpose entry time frame is daily i'm generating all the zones the first 19 in this list are sorry first 17 in this list are indices and the remaining are equity stocks listed in the future segment they are not futures data based zones they are equity stocks but listed in future segment So I'm scrolling down this list. I'll uh, give few seconds time. There you can pause the video and you can study the parameters. So this is the complete list of the stocks having a daily demand zones and supply zones. I hope this information is useful to you for your further study and analysis. Let us all meet again in our next video. Thank you.